everyone, this is Val. Welcome to my channel, B. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. I'm so happy to be back, back with another unboxing of a box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child for a boy in the age range of two to four. And I packed this box in a regular Operation Christmas Child Go Box, the green and red cardboard Go Box that you can order from the website, SamaritansPurse.org. You can see the link below in my description. And this box has a theme. It's Christmas Dogs. And I call this box Yappy Christmas. And I had to use some extra rubber bands on this box because it's pretty much bulging. And so I have a cross necklace that I am going to include in the box when I repack it. So let me show you what I packed. When this little boy opens his box, he will see right on the lid that I decorated the lid with the top of a Christmas card. The Christmas card had animals stacked on top of each other in the shape of a Christmas tree. And at first I thought that it was only cats and dogs, but there's actually a turtle and a hedgehog and a chameleon and a bird and a mouse. And then, of course, there are cats and dogs. And I added the phrase, you are loved. And so the first thing I'm going to pull out of the box is this little boy's coloring book. This coloring book is from Dollar Tree, and it's a colorativity. It is called Yappy Christmas, and that's where I got the idea for the title of my whole box. Yappy Christmas is a very... Very cute coloring book. It has all kinds of images of Christmassy cats and dogs and other things. Some simple games, but some really cute images to color. I love that little dog taking a nap. So cute. And the dog on the cover, that little yellow lab, is just adorable. This is just a paper pad, just with blank paper. So this little boy can practice his writing. He can color and draw and scribble. Maybe learn to write his name. And this is a tote bag. And this tote bag is not Christmas dogs, but it does have dogs on it. Very cute dogs. Dog, cool dogs with sunglasses. It's more of a tropical themed tote bag. But it does have dogs. And I'm not going to unfold it, but... It's folded up so nicely to fit in the box, but it's very cute. And then he has some underwear, which has a dog on it. The dog is Scooby-Doo, not Christmassy, but it has a dog. And then he has this loofah that has a, a plushy, soft, squishy dog with cute floppy dog ears on top coming out of the loofah. So... This is the substitute for a washcloth. He can use this when he takes a bath and really have some fun. Again, not Christmassy, but it is a dog and it's very cute. And this little boy has this Christmas dog. This is a Christmassy dog. He's wearing a Santa hat. Look at that face. Is he cute or what? I just love this Thai beanie baby dog. This dog's name is Jingle Pup. Just the perfect stuffy for this little boy to cuddle and love. This little boy will find a shirt in his box. This is a Christmas dog. It's Snoopy with a Santa hat. And it says, peace, love, and joy in red and green Christmas colors. Snoopy's holding that heart. And Snoopy and holding the heart replaces the O in the word joy. And this shirt came from Kohl's. I got it on clearance. It was three eighty nine. I might have paid a little less than that, but that was the clearance price. And 
It's a size four. And he has some Snoopy socks to go with his Snoopy shirt. And he has that underwear. So he's got that little outfit. And he has a glue stick, a jumbo glue stick that I got on clearance at Walmart. He has this Mylar bag. And inside the bag, I tucked in some erasers, some scented erasers, a couple of mending kits, some band-aids, some nail files, some pencil sharpeners. One of the pencil sharpeners is a metal pencil sharpener, dual sharpener, and the bag is taped shut at the top. This little boy will find a really cute pencil sharpener. It's a dog pencil sharpener. It's not a Christmas dog, but it's a cute dog, and he'll have some fun with that pencil sharpener. I'm going to put a little piece of tape over the hole again to protect little fingers from the sharp blade of the pencil sharpener. And he has a spoon. He has two toothbrushes with with caps. He has a box of eight jumbo crayons. They are Blue's Clues themed crayons. So not a Christmas dog, but Blue, well, she's cute. She looks kind of like a Christmas dog. Blue lip whistle. And this little boy will also find some pencils that I packed loosely in the box. Some My First Ticonderoga Jumbo Pencils. I put tape around the leads to protect the other items in the box. And then he has some novelty pencils that are really cute because they have Christmas dogs on them. A couple of different kinds. Real cute. Dogs with Santa hats. Christmas colors. I think this little, those are not sharpened. And a black ink pen. A quick pen. And some school scissors. Some student scissors with a cap over the blades. That's also an eraser. He has this little dog, which is goofy. So a Mickey Mouse character. But it's a dog. Lots of dogs for this little boy to play with in this box. And these are slippers. Christmas puppy slippers. I got those on clearance after Christmas at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember the price, but I know I got a really good deal. I think they were 90% off. So they're really cute. They look like little... I, I don't know what kind of dog, but they're very cute. And inside the slippers, I tucked in some more little Christmas puppies with Santa hats. A couple of different colors. So he's got a whole family of little Christmas pups to play with. Inside the slippers, I also tucked in these two vehicles. These Christmassy vehicles. These are two of the items that I just love in this box. Favorite items in the box. They go with a play mat that I also packed. There's a green pickup truck with Santa, with snowman in it and a Santa Claus in his sleigh, but it has wheels. And he will find a whistle on a wrist lanyard, color red. And he will find this Christmas ornament. He can color this wooden Christmas ornament and add the string to hang it up as an ornament. And I took the markers out of it, but he has this other wooden ornament set that's Paw Patrol. So Paw Patrol and Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And I took the markers out of these two sets and replaced the markers with that little box of crazy art crayons because I tried it out and crayons work perfectly fine on these little wooden ornaments and they're safer for the for the little two to four because the markers had tiny little caps on them I just thought these colors would these crayons would be a better option for this little guy and so I left the Paw Patrol wooden ornaments in the packaging after I replaced the markers with the crayons I went ahead and taped the packaging back up so this little boy will know to use those crayons to color 
those wooden ornaments. And then he can use the crayons for his Snoopy ornament as well. So a fun craft kit for this little boy. And he has just some lined paper. Instead of a notebook, I just included this mini legal pad, yellow legal pad with, with lines, so he can practice writing his name. And a blue comb and a wooden ruler, six inch ruler, but it also has the metric system. And this little boy also has some beads, some shiny green beads for Christmas. And this red ring that says, I heart Jesus. So it's a silicone ring. And he also has a silicone wrist bracelet. This one is blue. And it says, Jesus is my jam. It either says, Jesus is my jam or Team Jesus on it. And the, the, this little boy will find these wooden blocks. These wooden blocks, along with those wooden cars, can be played with on his play mat that I will soon show you. I have it packed at the bottom of the box. But I love these Christmassy wooden blocks. I got these as a set at Hobby Lobby on clearance after Christmas last year. And they just, that one has a Christmas tree. They're just hardwood, solid blocks, really good quality. I love this one because I think it looks like a stoplight. Although that middle bead is white, but I could take a marker and color that yellow because that looks like a stoplight and he could play with that with his cars. I think that would be really a fun thing to do. And then this block is just a cube and it has a bow on it like a Christmas present. And then these two wooden cubes have numbers on them. So he can practice his numbers or count down to Christmas, the 12 days of Christmas. So he can stack those blocks up and play with those blocks. He has, of course, a little golden book. This one is The Pokey Little Puppy's First Christmas. The Pokey Little Puppy is so cute. He's v very popular. There are several little golden books with The Pokey Little Puppy. This one is a Christmas one. And I haven't read the book, but I can tell from the pictures that this Pokey Little Puppy, he's playing and he falls down a hole and a skunk comes to help him and he apparently makes friends with the with the skunk and then I think he takes the skunk home and introduces the skunk to his puppy family the images are very large and colorful like I always say if this little guy doesn't have anybody to read this story to him so he can understand it in his language. He could just look up, look at the pictures. I was able to tell what the story was about by looking at the pictures. I have a sticker booklet. I got this after Christmas on clearance at Michael's. And the price says $1.99, but I paid 49 cents. But I'm going to cover up those prices with some of the stickers inside the book. I went ahead and included the whole booklet of stickers. They were relatively cheap and I got so many of them. I'm just going to give him this booklet of stickers. One sticker's not enough. I need another sticker to cover up all the prices. So there, that takes care of that. Perfect solution. And then in the box, here is the note and photo that I have included for this little guy. It's just a Christmas card with Snoopy and Woodstock on it. Christmassy, Christmas Snoopy again with his Santa hat. I wrote a note and included a family photo. And on the front of the envelope, I just wrote to a special boy. Here is his pencil pouch. I just packed the pencils and the school supplies loosely because they fit better in the box. But anyway, this pencil pouch has a dog on it and it's Christmas green. So fits nicely into the theme of my box. And here is the playmat that I made. Now this playmat's a little different than what I usually do. First of all, it's not blank white on the back. So I didn't include dry erase markers in this box because I didn't think it would really work as a dry erase mat. But it is a playmat. But instead of stacking the two 11 by 6 pieces on top of each other to make more of a square shaped. I 
put them side by side. So they are six inches by 11 inches, each piece laminated, cut out of the laminating sheet, taped down the middle, so it folds out long ways. And then I added this strip of washi tape that looks like a road. And so this little guy can move his vehicles across the washi tape road and he can stack up the stacking blocks, the wooden blocks, any way he would like. And on top of this piece, I added a strip, a piece of cardstock that has houses on it. So it just looks like a row of houses. So this playmat looks a little bit like a little Christmas village. And next year I plan to do something a lot more elaborate and make a bigger play mat and make more of a little town and add the washi tape to add roads. But for now, this little Christmas village will do. He can stack up his stacking blocks, something like this, and put that tree right on top, make that look like a little building or some kind of a tower in the village. And here's the blocks with the numbers of 12 days of Christmas. So he's got a little... A little Christmas village to play with on his on his play mat. So this is the box that I packed for this little boy two to four. It is a Yappy Christmas or Christmas dogs themed box. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you saw something you liked, I hope you'll hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe comment below with any ideas you have, things you're working on. So see you again soon, friends. Bye for now.